Okay, in this example, based on the selection of the radio button, I want to be able to switch between two screens, one called an advanced search and the other one being a simple search. So let's first code the event for the radio button first. Okay, let's close this. And let's go into Scene Builder. And in Scene Builder, I will highlight both of these radio buttons. And on the On Action, I'm going to click here and make this Search Mode. Okay, so this is a new event called Search Mode. Let's save it. Since we changed something regarding code, we'll have to go here and look for the search mode. So there goes search mode right there. Let's do control C. I'll close it. Close that. Uh, let's refresh it to make sure we have the latest and greatest on the graphical user interface side, which is the FXML. Um, let's refresh. Let's go to controller. Let's add that last event down here. Okay, and let's do assist out and print out some information. Um, radio, matter of fact, you know what? Let's put in a text message. I'm gonna say here, um, LBL message set text is equal to this is a test plus math math dot random okay Let's run it and see if it works. If I click on the radio button, this is a test, and I'm doing a math.random. There goes a new number, new number, new number, new number, new number, new number, new number. Okay, you get the point. We got the radio button event working. Okay, all right, let's continue the next video with more information.